So we are at Lowe's. Um, we are picking up a graduation present for my cousin Malika. Um, so when I graduated high school, the best gift that I ever got was this little toolkit. And I brought it to all three and a half years of college that I went to. And I still use it now, except Chris cannibalized it. Um, and it's now mixed in with all of our tools and bus stuff. So, um, but we, I figured that the best gift that I could give her is a um, hand tool kit and we're going to add a couple of other things, some scissors, some duct tape, and some other useful stuff that she can use at her dorm room. So we're back, Christy's back in the car, and we have no kit. You want to tell us why we don't have a kit, Christy? Yeah, so there was no one around that I could ask where they moved it because I went in, I went to the aisle, I went to the bay, and they had a bunch of Craig jigs there, but no toolkits. And I went over to where their toolkits were, and none of them were that shade of purple that I was looking at on their website. So. We're about to drive to Maple Shade and see if we can find it there. Great. Hopefully they have met us. <laughs> so we're now up here in Maple Shade, New Jersey. This is Lowe's number two. Lowe's number two. It says they have four in stock. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go see if they're lying to me or if we're going to actually find what we need in here. Mm-hmm. So... We've got that going for us, so uh, hopefully they have it, and we don't have to try a third Lowe's. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. This trip was a success. This is the little toolkit. It's only 23 pieces, but she's going to college. It's not like she's building a bus or anything. So, <laughs> um, I found out that the reason that the other Lowe's didn't have it is that these are about to be discontinued. <laughs> so and they just redid all of their um, displays. So this was hidden behind a fairly large tool um, kit that the nice man at Lowe's helped me find. So I was very excited um, to find this and it was still in our price range, which was great. And it was on sale, which is also great. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our registration process. We have been working to get our bus registered through the state of Vermont. Um, we submitted our registration application on May 15th, and last Tuesday we received a letter back saying that we didn't pay enough in taxes. Um, we thought that this might be a possibility when we initially submitted it, but we submitted anyway based on some advice we were given to submit based on our purchase price and not the NADA value as the application states. Um, we've been told that some people had been able to only pay the tax on the purchase price versus the NADA value. In our initial research, our purchase price was $2,300 and the NADA value that the State of Vermont's website indicated we would need to pay the tax on was $10,275. Obviously, if we can get away with only paying a quarter of the taxes, we wanted to do that. Um, when we received the application back, however, it stated that we needed to pay taxes not on simply the uh, $10,275, but on a net of value they calculated of $15,425. Uh, significantly higher, a about a third higher than what we thought the maximum we would be paying was. So a little concerned, we called them up to see if was that the actual NADA value, and yes, they did say that was the actual NADA value. Um, we didn't really know what else to do, so we paid it. Um, shortly after we paid it, I was speaking with a uh, former colleague of mine. Um, in the time between when I was a prior technician and when we started our company, 
and moved down here to New Jersey, I spent a little under a year working for an HVAC company in Exeter, New Hampshire. Um, in that time, I worked and dispatched technicians in two main zones. Uh, my first and primary zone was Connecticut. Uh, I had, on average, anywhere from five to ten technicians, uh, depending on time of the week, how many technicians had been fired that week. Uh, and then I had one technician in Vermont. Uh, his name was Hawk. He is the only technician I had in Vermont. Yet, he ran the entire state by himself. He, to this day, I consider him a freak of nature. Um, he does what no other human can do. You know, on a day when I might get three jobs out of any other uh, one of my techs, Hawk would finish 10. Um, there was just no comparison to his work ethic. Hawk is also a master of all skills. He's a plumber, he's an electrician, uh, he is a captain on his fire department. He just an all around jack of all trades. Um, I was talking with him and he had mentioned there was a review process that a friend of his wife was actually able to initiate on our behalf. Uh, she works for the DMV and she figured out that there might be an issue with the NADA value we were quoted um, so they're going to review and see whether we actually should have been charged for the 10.225 NADA value versus the 15.475. So we have them looking into that at this point, but we were told that they, since we paid the full amount, we would receive our plates regardless. And then if there's a change in that value, they would send us a refund check. Uh, so. Within the next two weeks, we do expect we will receive our plates, which will be great for our bank account. Uh, I have not really enjoyed me spending $50 a visit to Lowe's Home Depot to rent a truck to haul sheets of plywood uh, and such back. Uh, my wife and I have both chosen Subaru Outbacks as our vehicle of choice, and you just cannot fit a sheet of plywood very well into a Subaru. Um, I especially do not love fitting one into mine as when I was rear-ended last year I decided to kind of upgrade and I got a Outback Limited model with the eyesight and the leather package and all of the fun little gadgets but it does mean that it's really not a great vehicle for hauling building material. That being said we uh, we're hoping that within the next couple of weeks, we'll start to be able to use the bus for those Lowe's and Home Depot trips. Um, that obviously does require that I hook the taillights back up and also that I reinstall the driver's seat. So we do have a couple of things that need to be done before that time, um, but we're hoping that uh, a drivable bus is in our not too distant future. early morning here in New Jersey, but we're getting ready to head up to Maine. Uh, we have packed up the trailer as my father has some extra lumber that he's going to be giving us, as well as those live edge slabs we've already talked about. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff we're going to be bringing back with us and wanted to make sure we had plenty of space to do that. talk about how big of a deal it was that I actually recorded that last um, video going over the Mario Cuomo bridge. So I have a huge fear of bridges and Chris is aware of it and 
usually I spend the time probably not breathing or clammed up staring at my feet not looking out the windows so that was a huge milestone for me to actually record going over the bridge and actually Chris wanted me to share that when we first started dating and he found out that um, I had this huge fear of bridges when he would go on road trips for work he used to um, record him going over bridges and then uh, text them to me so that I could freak out while I was at home. Hey guys, so Chris and I made it up to Maine yesterday. We left uh, New Jersey around 12.30 and then made it to my parents' house around 8.30. We hit a little bit of traffic in New York and Connecticut, but otherwise it wasn't too bad getting up here. Um, but now that we're up here, I wanted to talk a little bit about why we are up in Maine to attend my second cousin's graduation on Sunday since Chris reminded me that not everyone um, is as close to their second cousins um, as my family is, especially given that um, there's about a 10 year age difference between us. So to open up a little bit about that, um, back in 2001, my first cousin Lisa, Malika's mom, moved in with us for about a year, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I was very young, so I don't remember the exact time frame. Um, but when she moved out and had Malika, we still kept that really close dynamic between the family since it was more like siblings versus cousins. Uh, that's why when Malika texted me a few months ago to um, ask me to go to her graduation, there really wasn't a question for me. It's kind of like a more like a niece asking you to attend a graduation than a second cousin. Um, that being said, we are going to be spending today hanging out with all of our family and some friends that we actually have a little bit of time to spend time with them and we will show you how graduation goes over this weekend. <laughs> 